Hey, it's Callum from The Good Edit Club, and today we're gonna to look at how to go from this to this really cool CRT VHS glitch effect using built-in After Effects plugins so that you can get that retro, iconic CRT look. So let's jump right in with part one, blur and displace. First of all, I'm gonna create a new HD composition. I'm working in 25 frames, because uh, that's how I'm gonna deliver this project. And I'm just gonna create two new text layers uh, heading and subheading, it's not really that important, you can call it what you like. I'm going to select both of these layers and hit pre-compose and I'm just going to name that text layer. So what I can do then is duplicate that pre-comp and toggle one of them off. So then I can go and add an effect to one of them and I'm going to add Gaussian Blur. Now if I just increase the intensity here uh, and I'm going to change the blur dimensions to horizontal. So that means that it's just affecting the pixels on the x-axis, it's not spreading it vertically. And you'll see why in a second. Next thing you're going to want to do is download the free Glitch Effect Asset Pack if you haven't already. The link is in the description. Uh, it's a collection of 11 different uh, Glitch Effects and I'm just using one of them here. I just drag this in and I'm going to put this into the timeline. Let me rename this first layer, um, text layer blur, and I'm going to change the track mat. And if you don't have this, you can right click column and track mat. I'm going to change the track mat of that glitch layer to text layer blur. So what that means is the glitch video will only play on the text layer where the pixels aren't transparent, as you can see there. So I'm just going to toggle the original text layer on so you can see what it's doing. I'm now going to add the curves effect to that layer and change the channel to alpha because I want to just affect the opacity levels. What this does is it just expands the fall off of that blur just so that it's a little bit more prominent. Okay, and I'm just going to move the clean text to the top and add a displacement map to that. A few things here, I'm going to change the displacement map layer to A01 glitch mov and I'm just going to, to put the vertical displacement to zero and you'll see why in a second. I'm going to increase the horizontal displacement just by a little bit so between 5 to 10 I've gone for 8 here and I'm going to overlay the original glitch texture and choose lighten. You can choose lighten or screen but I've gone for lighten here and then hit T to bring up the opacity. I'm just going to bring it down a little bit. Next, I'm going to add a new adjustment layer and I'm going to add glow to that adjustment layer. Now, the glow effect in After Effects isn't that great, um, but we can get some decent results from it. So what I like to do is just increase the intensity all the way up and bring the threshold all the way down and, and find the point where I like the selection that it's got. So I increase the blur radius to my liking and decrease the intensity just so that it's a little bit subtle and toggling it, you can see before and after. Next, I'm gonna add grain to the adjustment layer. Um, you can add noise instead, but I've just gone for uh, grain. And I'm keeping it really simple here. I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but I'm just gonna select a preset and change just a few of the parameters including the channel intensity because I want the output to be a little bit more blue. That's the sort of effect I'm trying to go for. So I increase the blue intensity just a tiny bit. Then I'm going to apply a curves to that adjustment layer and I'm going to go on the blue channel and I'm just going to do a little bit of tweaking around here. So I like the blue but it's brought in some red so I'm going to bring that down and this is just about experimenting, trying to find the colour that works for the look that you're going for. And as I said, I'm trying to go for that blue look and I don't really like the purple in it, so that's why I brought the reds out. Then I'm gonna add another glow to the text layer blur, just so that it, it reaches out a little bit more because I wanted it to be a bit more prominent. And again, this tweaking, experimenting is all part of what makes it a really exciting process. Now in part two, I'm going to dive a little bit deeper and look at how we can use some of these textures as transitions. So I'm going to bring in another glitch texture from that asset pack. And what I like about this one is that it gets really crazy at the end. Uh, and that's the portion that I want to use to affect some of the text. So I'm going to bring this into the timeline and begin to trim it. 
and a little shortcut that I like to do is where my playhead is if you press option and open square bracket you can just trim that there and I'm going to look for another frame which is kind of sparse that will work really well as the end frame for that intro transition. Since I want to just affect the text here I'm going to create a new adjustment layer call it text adjustments I'm going to sandwich it just above my text layers I'm going to add some effects to that layer. First one displacement map I'm going to change the map layer to that video that we just brought in, A05 glitch, horizontal displacement at zero. For vertical displacement, I want to set that value really high for the beginning, and you'll see why in a second. I'm just going to bring the playhead right to the beginning and set the stopwatch so at a keyframe, move forward one frame using command and then the right arrow key. And I'm just going to toggle this off uh, for a second. And what I want to do is for every frame that I move forward, I want to set a new value for that vertical displacement so that it, it's really jumpy. And I'll repeat the process. If you hit U on your keyboard, you can see all your keyframes. I'm just putting the last one in here now. So as you can see there, it just gets a bit chaotic. It's like jumping all over the place. What I want to do is I'll bring that glitch texture back in and change the blending mode to lighten. So we're almost doubling that effect. I'm going to repeat the same process with a third glitch texture. This is B05. This is a really strobe like effect. What I like about this one is that you get some really cool artifacts at the end. So I'm going to do pretty much the same, but just use it as an outro transition. So rename this transition in and then this one transition out and do my trimming and place it where I want the transition out to be. And then I'm just going to trim my work area here just to five seconds. As you can see, I could I could leave that effect like that, but I do want to go a step further. I'm going to change the blending mode to lighten and then back on that text adjustments layer. I'm going to rename this displacement map transition in just so that we don't get confused. I'm going to bring in a second displacement map effect to <laughs> that layer and call it transition out and change the map layer to transition out that B05 video and I'm changing this option to lightness. Now you don't need to because it's a black and white video. Every single channel is going to be the same, but it's just good practice. I'm going to set the vertical displacement to zero and do the same thing that I did for the transition in. So setting a keyframe, moving forward one frame by using command right arrow key and changing the value every single time until I get to the last frame. And I'll just play it back. Okay, so like I mentioned before, you will want to experiment with this. And as I've just noticed here, I think the blacks are a little bit too harsh. So I'm going to bring up the shadows in the curves effect on the additional texture layer. And I'm just going to play around with it slightly and see what that looks like. And I'm just going to reduce the opacity there. And the last thing I want to do is just go back into that original text layer and change the horizontal displacement ever so slightly just so that it's a bit more affected and we end up with this. So I hope you liked the video, I hope you learned something. If you found this video useful, let me know what other tutorials you'd like to see and don't forget to check out our other creative visual effects packs at The Good Edit Club to take your video editing to the next level. I'll see you on the next one.